I'm ready, sir. Good. We'll uh, get the last presentation at this time. Uh, Mr. Crystal Threadgill uh, is currently our chief of staff in the Mobile County Public School System, and he is he was one of the people who had applied for the position of superintendent, and along with uh, Dr. Gunn and Finn. Uh, he was selected to interview before the board and has gone through the process today, as have they. I want to thank you for your interest in our school system, Mr. Threadgill, and for having moved here in the first place. But more importantly, most recently, for your interest in the uh, superintendency and to, to uh, put your name in the hat. And uh, we certainly welcome anything that you have got to present with us this afternoon. Okay, thank right you, sir. Ahead. Thank you. I have a PowerPoint, um, but I would like to start off by saying that there are some who think that our school system is not the best. We have nine schools on the failing school list. 23 of our schools have D's and F's. We are the home of the first charter school, and some believe that there should be more. We have a city who believes uh, that separating the school system would be best. We have obstacles. So can we overcome these obstacles? We're at a pivotal point here in Mobile County Public Schools. It is very crucial that we overcome these obstacles. But can we overcome these obstacles? How can we overcome these obstacles? Will we overcome these obstacles? When I think about these challenges, the word resilient resonates in my mind. And by definition, resilient means to move quickly from difficulties. And we can overcome these obstacles by selecting a leader to resiliently move this school district forward. Let me say that again. We can overcome these obstacles by selecting a leader to resiliently move this school district forward. So with that being said, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce myself. I'm Crussell Threadgill. I'm from Mobile. I'm a proud graduate of John L. LaFleur. I graduated from Troy State as well as Alabama State. I am married to the lovely LaTanya Threadgill, who is a teacher in our school district. I have three beautiful children. Sydney, she's 15, she attends Baker. Alex, he's 13, he attends Causey. And my youngest son, Coleman, he's seven, he attends Collier. I started my educational journey in Butler County at Greenville Middle School. And let me just pause and take a minute to um, clear up some frequent asked questions. Most people ask me, Mr. Threger, why didn't you start your educational journey here in Mobile as a teacher? And that response is very simple. I come from a long line of educators. My grandfather, who was a longtime principal, my grandmother, who was a longtime teacher, and I have many family members and friends that was in education at that time. And it was important for me to go off and make a name for myself. It was important for me 
to be hired not on who I was related to, but off my own merit. It was important for me to go off and fail and succeed on my own. So as chief of staff, here I am. Also uh, at Greenville Middle School, I was a teacher, coach, and quickly became assistant principal. I was then recruited to Troy City Schools as Charles Henderson principal. I was then promoted to assistant superintendent in Troy. And part of my roles and responsibilities was to be the director of curriculum, instruction, and assessment. I also was the director of special education. I was also the director of federal pro programs. And I was also a principal mentor and trainer. And I was in charge of all the discipline in that system. That seems like a lot of things to do in a system, and it was, but it prepared me for my next assignment, and that was to take on the challenge of being superintendent of Elba City Schools. And at that time, Elba was going through a very difficult time with finances and not being able to pay the teachers. Academics was very, very <coughs> low. Morale was a huge issue major turnover with teachers and administrators. I was actually the sixth superintendent in five years. State superintendent at the time told me that either I turn it around or that city school system will join in with the county. So I was under a lot of pressure to turn things around. But I assembled a team and together we turned things around. Our academics shot up. We went from 63% graduation rate to 96%. When I arrived to Elba, uh, we were considered a D school. When I departed, most recently, we're now, well, they're now a B, B school. So I attribute all of those things to the team that I assembled, and we worked very hard to get to that point. The next thing is very difficult for me to do, and that's to brag about myself just, just a little bit. Um, but given the circumstances of the position that I'm applying for, I, I, I feel the need to tell you a little bit about it. Uh, I am a graduate, attended and a graduate at the University of Alabama Superintendent's Academy in two, 2008. I was also a representative, the only Alabama representative to attend uh, Texas Superintendent's Academy at Lamar University. Uh, I was also the um, SSA District 3 that composed of um, 1920 districts. Uh, I was their president. Uh, I was also uh, chosen by the Chancellor at Troy University to be the chair of the College of Education um, Teacher Advisory Council. I was also the SSA District 3 um, Superintendent of the Year and selected member to a uh, selected group of Transformational Leadership Academy at Sanford University. Most recently, I was featured in a published, nationally published magazine of people to watch of rising administrators. I want to say that I could not do any of those things, any of those accolades, or any of those accomplishments without a support team, and they have been wonderful. Um, I've been asked to go into a lot of situations to clean up a lot of issues, um, whether that's at a school level, at a district level, or in a division. I've been asked to come in and address certain situations to clean things up, to turn things around. And I've always stood on the platform of what I call Visa. V-I-S-A. The V is for vision. Everyone must know your vision. You must communicate your vision. The I is for integrity, to treat everybody with respect. 
treat people like you want to be treated. The S is for structure, to have structure and procedures in place and everybody to follow those procedures, to know those procedures, to communicate those procedures. And the last one is the most important one, and that's A for accountability, to hold everyone accountable, including myself. My vision is simple, is to resiliently move this school system forward. There's a lot of issues. I feel that I have a vested interest with my wife being a teacher, my children going to school here. It's in my DNA. I'm from here. I've gone off to make my own way to be successful on every level. And now I'm coming back home and it's not for a title or a position because I could have had that in Elba. I came home to make a difference no matter what position I'm in, whether that's chief of staff or superintendent. I came home to dedicate myself to make a difference. So with that being said, <coughs> I want to leave you with this. There will be obstacles. There will be <coughs> doubters. There will be mistakes. But with hard work and the opportunity for me to be your leader, there are no limits. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Threadgill. Now, offer the board an opportunity to uh, make any comments or ask anything. Uh, and I have nothing either. Uh, as I have with the other candidates, uh, we want to thank you for taking your time and making an effort on your part. We know what it is to, to be out here, to put yourself out, to be exposed to the media, to uh, various organizations and so forth as a candidate for our school system. We know the difficulties that uh, that incurs uh, we also want to thank you for uh, your efforts thus far uh, as the chief of staff in the Mobile County Public School System, too. And uh, certainly I'm going to say to you exactly what I said to the other uh, two candidates. Uh, by far, uh, this is the best group of candidates that we've had in any of the superintendent searches that we have done. And we have we've done three since uh, Dr. Crenshaw and I have been on the board. Uh, thank you so much for uh, coming today and uh, we appreciate your efforts. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just very quickly, um, on the way out, I don't know if Mr. Hack has them, but okay, he's passing my good. That's just uh, kind of my vision and a little bit about myself. Thank you. Okay. Can we get a copy of it? Sure, absolutely. No, you don't get a copy of it. <laughs>